In this video, I'm going to show you how to run a boot time virus scan inside of Windows 10 using the Windows 10 antivirus. So first, we're going to go down here to the bottom right corner under our show hidden icons arrow. Let's click that. Now what we're going to be looking for is this little Windows security shield. You may have a green checkbox like I do, or a yellow exclamation, box, exclamation mark, or even a red X. But find the shield and then click on it. Now we should get the Windows security tab to open, and you may need to resize this window. Now currently, I have everything as green checks, which is great. But I'm going to go ahead and run a virus scan, so I want to go under the Virus and Threat Protection tab. Now under this tab near the center, we should see a blue text option that says Scan Options. Let's go ahead and click that. Now here, we can see several different scan options. We're going to select the Windows Defender Offline Scan, and then we're going to hit Scan Now. Now, as we can see here, while it starts to reboot, that this could take up to 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and hit yes to allow Windows security to make changes to this computer. And now we see that we are about to be signed out. And here the computer goes to restart. And now the next part is where this may vary. Look at this, we got Windows updates for us. Because I am running a virtual machine and this is not an actual computer that you're seeing, you'll see that I'm using VirtualBox 6.1. And now we can see that the Windows security scan is starting. And now we are in the Windows Defender offline scan. Now this scan did say it'll take about 15 minutes or so, and to keep this video short, we will not wait throughout the whole scan process. But after the scan is complete, we should see the computer reboot and it either giving us one of two answers, either our computer is clean and no results were found, or that results were found and taken care of. Of course, with these results that are found and taken care of, you can then go on to do farther research or report those to your IT professionals. But this has been a video by nephewtech.com, and I hope I've taught you something.